Hello, this is going to be a nice short video and it is about Power Query and how to replace values in one column with values from another column. And what do I mean by that? Well, nice and straightforward. I have a column here and it has zeros in it and I don't want them to be zero. I want them to be whatever we have in this column next to it. Now, normally, if you want to replace values in Power Query, you're going to go right click and you're going to click on, of course, replace values. And then you will simply enter the value that you want to find and enter the value you want to replace with. But we don't want to replace it with a value. We want to replace it with values from a different column. Now you might be thinking, why not just go to add column and conditional column or add column and custom column? Yes, you can do that. But then you're adding a column and we don't need an extra column because we have everything that we need already so how are we going to achieve that nice and straightforward i'm going to go to this column i'm going to right click and i am actually going to go to replace values and i'm going to replace my zero with anything at this point yeah so i'm just going to say um no doesn't matter because we're going to change that no and that's it see we have our zeros are gone and now we have a null instead for the next step and this is just a general tip of working with power query actually is that you should always have your formula bar switched on you just to, to do that you just go to view formula bar and that's helpful in general because it just helps you like read the code kind of see what's going on and also you learn a bit from your own work essentially from your applied steps you can see what that code is and it's nice because, you know, in general, we are all here to learn, right? Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this and going to change an element. And it's going to be really nice and straightforward. So here we have our replace values. And as I wrote, replace the zeros with null. But I don't want the null, so I'm going to delete that. And instead, I'm going to write each. And then I'm going to just reference the column name that I want to use. So each temp day, and of course we include square brackets. So each temp day instead of null. We hit enter, and now you can see that's exactly what's happened. Where previously I had a, a zero, I now have a value. Because I'm just, just to highlight that again, originally I said replace it with a null, which I don't want. Now I'm saying actually don't replace it with a null, replace it with this, which is each temp dot day. So whatever value is in this, put it in the corresponding row of this column. There you have it, nice and straightforward. So that's it, as I said, nice and short video. Hope you liked it, hope you learned something. If you wanna write a comment, write a comment. And um, if you liked the video, please click subscribe. Always much appreciated. Uh, yeah, thank you very much and goodbye.